Oh, the bulk bin. It's a joyous place. All right, I'm gonna make my son Cosmo's favorite pancakes that he doesn't know are filled with chia seeds, flax seeds, and rolled oats. This is filled to the brim. I'm gonna displace some chia seeds now. All right, flax seeds. Careful on the lever, you know what I mean? Rolled oats. These are gonna like absorb into the batter. This will do it. My younger son is a pancake monster. I can give him pancakes as often as he wants to eat pancakes without feeling like bad about it. With flax, you need to break that outer hull of the flax seed because it is actually indigestible. If you eat them whole without cracking the shell or grinding them, you're not gonna get any of the benefit. I'm gonna melt this coconut oil. I believe in fat. Coconut oil is a really good source of fat. Foods that have fat in them, as opposed to just like sugar, will keep you full. I'm putting it on the griddle. This is my technique for melting a small amount of coconut oil without taking out a saucepan. This is buttermilk. I add rolled oats to the buttermilk just to kind of soften them up while I measure the ingredients. When you cook them into the pancake batter, even without pre-cooking them, they totally soften. You kind of don't even know they're there. This is a way of like adding a whole grain, adding fiber, more heft, because we want to keep this child full. And I didn't really measure, you may also have noticed. This mix is one cup all purpose, and then half a cup of whole wheat flour. I'm gonna do a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. This is what gives the pancakes lift. Coconut oil is melted. Be cautious, if you leave it on there too long, the handle of your measuring cup will become kind of like a branding iron. Little bit of sugar. This is probably less than the recipe calls for, but my child puts so much maple syrup on that I don't feel that the pancake itself has to be that sweet. Flax seeds that are ground, cracked, chopped, blitzed in your spice grinder. And then this is a little bit of chia seed right into the batter. Seeds in general are very nutrient dense. Just beat the eggs to blend. All the wet ingredients are going into the dry. And the coconut oil. So normal pancake recipe might call for melted butter. Just using coconut oil, I'm gonna hold a little bit back and use that to grease the griddle. The only trick to pancakes really is not to overmix them. This is one of those rare occasions when a few lumps are okay. All right, that's perfect. There are some lumps, but you can tell by looking at it, it's super seedy. And most children are not gonna notice. You can go silver dollar, you can go whatever size you want. It's pancakes. I also really believe in the little tiny extra pancakes, the ones that are just the extra drips. They're good for, you know, sampling. I'm looking for bubbles on top. If you try to flip before the bubble, you know, you get the sliding batter, it's not good. Mmm, the samplers. No one has to know about these. So the way you do it. Our remakes are there good. Mmm, they're very good. Forgot the salt. But that's why you have to taste, right? Before you commit, you gotta like make a taster. Anyway, it doesn't, you know, the kid just wants the maple syrup. Thank yous. So what I do is I put the maple syrup in this dispenser so that he could administer his own, but only cutting a little bit off the tip so that it's not maple syrup soup. Measure your dry ingredients out the night before. Get your oats soaking in buttermilk. Don't forget the salt. And then in the morning, all you have to do is heat up a pan, melt the coconut oil, pancakes for breakfast on a weekday. And then the other moms are gonna complain to you. They're gonna be like, my kid said that your kid said that he had pancakes on a weekday, and you'll say that is absolutely true. With flax seeds also.